Hi everybody, welcome back to Dynamic Form Studio. I'm Leandro and today on the desk, Batman. <laughs> so this Batman is um, a picture that I found online and I'm gonna use it as a template for our one-fourth scale uh, 60s Adam West style Batman. I'm gonna try to do my best to make it look like Adam West. We'll see how that goes. Um, I'm gonna take a different approach this time. Normally I do the whole sculpture first and then last I work on the portrait. This time I'm gonna try to do the other way around. We're gonna work on the portrait first, then we're gonna work on the rest of the sculpture. So, um, for those that don't know me, um, I'm Leandro. I have been doing this for more than 10 years on my own, just as a hobby, and I like to do sculptures. And I have done a few before, so, and I like to work on projects uh, that are something to my liking. So if, you know, I'm not working under anybody right now, this is totally my project. Uh, I'm gonna share my knowledge with you guys and I hope this is fun to watch and you guys enjoy it as much as I do. <clears throat> um, most of the time when you see somebody creating a, a collectible figure or a sculpture, uh, traditionally they're gonna use a frame, like a wire frame, and they sometimes use like a skeleton or a humanoid picture to scale it up and do it on the scale that they want. Um, I do not work with armatures, so that's really nice. You don't need that armature because I use a um, hard uh, compound called uh, Castelline and CX-5. This is just a piece of the other uh, kind of wax that I use. This is what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use wax to create a replica of this character. And I've never done a one-fourth scale um, uh, character. The last character I did was Ultraman and is a one-sixth scale. So uh, much smaller, more like, like this size. So this will be kind of a fun project to work on. And if you want to do it like with me, you can. You just have to have like a skillet, your compound, which is what I'm using is um, Castelline hard and CX-5 hard. You cannot get CX-5 anymore. Um, at least for now, I don't know if it will ever come back on the market, but luckily I bought enough when I bought it one time. I bought it a lot, that way I could just, it's something that you can just melt it and reuse it. As you can see here, I have a character melting right now, so I can reuse the product. One thing I don't like about Castelline, it's very, smells funny, it doesn't smell very pleasant. Uh, CX-5 on the other side smells really good, <laughs> which is funny, but um, I'm gonna put a little bit of this wax with that one. I'm gonna mix them together because I want this wax to be a little fur since this is a big figure. Look how skinny his legs are. Like the torso will be way heavier than this than the legs. So I want to use like a, a wax that is a little stronger as far as <clears throat> um, you know strength to keep the the sculptor standing. So. Uh, six five hard it's really hard so I know for sure that if I was doing this sculpture in only CX-5 it would have been really hard to carve it out of it but I know it would never fall because it's just so hard and it keeps the the figure standing <clears throat> so you're gonna need a skillet you're gonna need your wax uh, to those wanting to know what I'm using this is what I'm using and CX-5 I don't have the CX-5 hard from Adam Bean Industries. Uh, anyways, so that's what I'm gonna use for this figure. <clears throat> um, what else? Let me let me see. So today we're only gonna trace the the main template with the wax, and I'll show you how I do that. This is just a piece of paper that I print at home, and you can do the same, and it's very nice. When you don't work with armature, there's so much freedom in that, and I love it. Um, another thing that I wanted to point out, I'm probably going to do Batman just like that, like in this museum kind of pose to look 
you know something that you can just display on your house or something that I'll do for myself I'll probably have a few kits available if anybody likes to put these things together and paint them later that's what I do too I I mold them I cast them and then I paint them put them all together and paint them so no idea what we're gonna do as far as the base so far but that's no big deal right now I'm really excited about this I hope you guys are excited as well it's not one of the muscular big dudes that I normally I sculpt and I'm excited to do this because I I like this more gentle normal looking anatomy that Adam West has um, as a Batman so I think it'll look cool it'll be kind of a challenge to do something more subtle more you know less bulky muscular as we see on the comic books and movies um, what else mm. so yeah this basically it I have a small skillet your template and I wear gloves because sometimes the the wax can be a little sticky you don't have to if you don't want to um, as far as I know the product is not toxic I hope not <laughs> but it doesn't say it's toxic on its um, packaging so as you can tell it's it's melting at this point it's too it's too um, I have to melt it all up first and then we're gonna let it cool for a minute and be more like of a play-doh kind of consistency and we'll, we'll go from there okay bye bye Ultraman <laughs> I already I already did this character this is not the original sculpt this was just like a, a second one that I started I was I did a full video in Portuguese on how to sculpt a collectible figure but it was all in Portuguese this time I'm gonna do it all in English so but it will be with Batman okay all right so let's let that melt I'm gonna add this much of CX-5 in the mix no idea what's gonna happen but let's do it well, what the heck right why not so let's give it a moment maybe I can turn it up a little on the temperature here right now it's 250 on the my, my skillet it's not precise but I just want to melt it all up and mix it up <clears throat> and just a second guys so I'm gonna open it with you guys there's some instructions on the back and I think that Chavant bought them so you can buy this uh, online through Chavant, if I'm not mistaken. So we're going to open this one. It's a huge block. Probably don't need the whole thing. See, there's a little bit of paper that I got that glued on the. Let me get the lighting, so you guys can see. Is it uh, my lighting here is awful? I'm sorry. Maybe I can do better like this. Yep. Kind of in front of the light. See right here, just a piece of paper that came with the box that they packaged this in. And if I don't remove this, it's definitely gonna being pieces oh. things that you don't anticipate here we go I just scrape it if this end up this is the paper from the box that was melted um, you know if this paper gets in a way when you're sculpting like right in the face where you need detail that would be it would be sad so might as well scrape it off okay so that's just what I did okay so I think this is too much 
Yeah, I won't be able to cut this. Well, this block is too hard to cut. <laughs> so I have an idea. I'm just gonna melt it like this. And then when I have enough, I'll pull it out. Sorry, I should have gotten all this stuff out before I started, but I didn't. So bear with me. I'm gonna go ahead and use this metal spatula here. This is the alcohol lamp, so we're gonna need this. You have to use denatured alcohol to make this work, okay? It looks like it's in the consistency that we want. Yep, look, starting to look more like clay. So that's good. I can still leave it off. So, you want kind of like this clay consistency. It's still too soft. So let's wait a minute to cool off a little bit more. Here's my denature alcohol uh, torch. Another thing you want to be very careful because you know every time you're working with fire, you got to be careful. Okay, I think it's, I think it's on. Yeah, it is on. And we're gonna use that to warm up our tool when you know we need to warm it up. The tool we can just put it on the fire like that. Okay, I'll show you this, guys show you guys this little bit it's still too warm it's too hot I can feel it's too hot so I'm just gonna scrape the top here which is cooler yeah it's too hot still too soft too hot so let's give it another minute here guess what it's starting to look like what we need to look like see it's like still soft a little warm easy to work with like a play-doh kind of you know it picks it all up uh, off your glove and it goes and it adheres to itself again which is always nice okay <clears throat> push a little bit more this way and what we're gonna do now is just start tracing. Normally I start with, uh, I'm just picking up whatever fell on the table. Normally I start with the legs, so let's do that. We got a little more material because it's not enough to make a leg. Now maybe. Yep. Maybe now. Okay, this looks good. So it's not as uh, 
not as hot, not as cold. It's warm to the touch. It's very warm to the touch, I should say. So what I'll do here, the first thing you want to do, it's kind of like a little feet, nothing special. Then you put it there uh, where the feet should go. And that's it. Now with your hands, you go down and try to shape it to the same size of the paper here that we're looking at, okay? That's all I'm doing, just trying to shape it to the same size. And you can use your spatula. I'm gonna clean it up a little bit. I'm gonna warm up on the fire right here. But look, I kind of have the leg here on the right place and I'm going to do exactly where his shorts are like and then I'm going to cut it here with my spatula try to keep it precise there and don't worry about shapes too much other than tracing your paper that's kind of the most important part right now to make to trace the paper more than anything okay See right there, I'm just making sure we have the, the knees in, a little bit of the calf, and I think one leg is good to go, okay? Okay, one leg is good to go. Now let's make the other leg. This looks like a good amount. Okay, same thing again, just go ahead and stretch the material a little bit. Remember to make a little foot on the bottom, nothing special, just something like that, you know, because this will help us uh, keep this sculpture stand. Oops, uh, it broke, so glue it back up like this real quick, it'll be just fine a little too warm <clears throat> all right let's do the same thing on the other side so we're gonna lay the clay there the wax stretch it a little push it down all right so now you just start pushing it down like I did on the other side okay push it down gently And then, same thing, try to warm up your tool and just shape it up a little around the shapes of your picture. Just all we're doing here is trying to make a template, okay? Remember, the knee's always skinnier. Oops. Warm up your tool, then you just scrape it. Just, you know. This will all be adjusted later. Right now, we're basically trying to get some type of um, uh, what do we call? scale you know some type of scale yeah that's the word I guess okay got it so we got the two legs in so that's good I'm trying to think here I think this is a one-fourth scale I hope it is it looks big but you know when you're talking about scale is always one-fourth scale is something very big so this may be a one-fifth, I don't know. Good enough for me, I guess. We'll see. We'll, we'll measure it later. Now we're gonna get a little bit of the material again. And this time, we're going to do his uh, trunks. This should be more than enough.
And then to have good um, uh, fusion between the legs and his uh, shorts, we're going to warm up this area here. Actually, I'm going to warm up the clay right here, get it kind of hot and wet like this on the fire. See, look, it gets all wet and melted. That way you will have a good connection here, right here, okay? But remember, you don't want to lose your um, the tracing. So just gently run on top, just so you know where you are, always. Like what is his legs and what is his trunks. Now push with your hands. Gently. All right, good enough. Push it in a little, push it in a little, and I'm glad, I'm good. I like that. And here I have the lines where the legs cut. It's just for, for direction. This is just for your, um, you know, so you know where you're going. Okay, okay, now <clears throat> let's do his belt real quick. Yeah, so same idea, just gonna roll it, kind of measure it a little. Okay, so it's this size, right? And it's gluing to itself, but I'm gonna warm up on the fire anyways. That way I have good adhesion here. There you go. And this is my belt. Yay! So what I do here, just push it in a little bit. And then he has like one, two, and three. Push it in. Push it, push it. All right. Here we go. We got the belt. We got the belt, we got the trunks, two legs. <clears throat> now, let's do his torso. Now we're gonna do the torso. The torso is gonna need maybe the same amount we had on the legs. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna get a good amount of wax. It's starting to feel a little bit better as far as, let me just get the light. So you guys can see what I'm doing better. Starting to feel more like clay, warm to the touch. Got a lot of the material. I'm gonna kind of pre-shape it. Looks like a T, right? So that's what I'll do. Just kind of pre-shape it. I'm not worried about any anatomy or anything. Remember the purpose here is just to trace Mostly trace your picture We're not worried about anatomy and looks The main focus is to get this um, To make it a template to work on top of So I have my clay here the template right there same thing again just warm up a little bit here so to a melting point that way when you bring the two together it will be a nice connection okay oops so I can bring it down a little and I'm gonna bring it right here this way and this way I'm just doing it with my hand so here's his rib cage, his abdomen right here. Use your knife again right here to use your knife to kind of keep that separation so you know where things should go. Later on, you will need these markings. Okay, so this looks great. Got a little bit more on the chest in here, which is okay. This is like where his rib cage should be. 
again don't worry about anatomy it's basically to keep you from losing where you are when you're sculpting that's all so make a little cut there for your uh, abdomen and then you know the chest will be right there that's good right there for now nothing fancy again you don't have to do fancy right now right now it's just building the frame <clears throat> let's do the arms now I got a good amount of material here let me clean my tool by warming up on the fire okay I got the pan on warm to keep the clay from getting too hard same thing guys I may be able to do two arms yeah it's too much that's okay so go ahead and stretch it up like this and before you put them put down on the paper your lower arm is always thinner than the upper arm so just do a little thinner down here like this just like this and a little thicker at the back here so go here and connect right there use your tool to kind of map it out this is where the his uniform you know kind of cuts and then this is your elbow and here's your gloves so this is the hand here gloves and the arm same thing we're just tracing a little bit nothing too precise please don't be too critical on yourself on this stage this stage is basically mapping things up gloves here elbow here shoulder cutting right there on the uniform just you know warm up a little bit if you need to and then you just kind of do this okay now let's make the other arm so same thing just make a little thicker on the top a little skinnier on the bottom like that and there you go warm up here the top just to make a good fusion there warm up on the fire like this and boom there you go and then stretch it up there you go and I'm gonna use my mapping system shoulders gloves I mean not shoulders elbow down here just mark your elbow mark your glove it won't really matter but it's just for you to have some you know guidance okay we got legs trunks belt torso the arms let's put in a head <clears throat> all right for the head i like to do a ball okay just do a little ball like this don't worry about anything else actually I'm gonna get another amount here real quick and we're gonna put in the the neck I'm gonna warm up my tool real quick and I'm gonna try to split it in half like I just did right here it was too much I just need this much so I'm gonna put it right here like that just a little bit right there just to pretend is the neck and here I have this lump, which will be the head, which could use a little more. Okay. <clears throat> it's just a quick thing. Our head is not totally round, as you know, if you're used to sculpting. So Adam, asked, Adam West has kind of a square shape face. And normally the back of your of your skull is larger than the front of your skull again don't worry about anatomy it's just something that you can just put in right now this is his face no let's make it fun right gonna make it fun because why not so what we're gonna do now is basically like his bat ears just to just for the heck of it. 
<laughs> Again, you don't have to do any of this. This is not the time. I'm just being silly, but let's do it. So let's go ahead and put one here and then make the other one for the other side. Yay, okay. So now, kind of have some, something to just make it fun for now. Okay, so warm up the bottom of your, of your lump here and then push it in. And try to make it the size of the head there. Again, we're just trying to have a template. Okay, I'm gonna bring it up to show you. Here's our Batman, our one fourth scale Batman. Okay, see the paper's already coming off, so that's a good thing. Let's take the paper off. Oh, there's our template we can use it again if we need okay so the template is in good shape if something goes wrong with this we can redo it use the same template template i mean okay let me take it out of the way just for now what do you guys think ah isn't that cool there you go <laughs> done let's see if our feet work guess what guys our feet works isn't that crazy? He's not totally dry yet. So I there, see there, there is a possibility that he can break. And I will hate for that to happen. So let me... Uh, he's already breaking. That's okay. All you do... Oops, I turned it off. Let me bring it back on. Let me bring the fire back on. Then we're going to glue bottom and top together. Okay, and then I'll I'll get the camera in a better better angle. Oops. And we lost the leg, <laughs> but that's okay. Remember, we're gonna make like multiple parts because we're gonna need to. Uh, so what you do, you warm up one side, then warm up the other side real quick, and bring them together. That's all, all you gotta do to bring them to be together again. To melt. Okay, that's good. <clears throat> it, it already stands. That's crazy. So that's kind of cool. Now our upper body. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to warm up the belt on the back here. Yep. Get it nice and hot. Do the same here. Nice and hot. Bring the two together. Right here. Boom. Done. Okay. We got it. There we go, guys. Sorry, I'm trying to make him stand. Here's our Adam West. <laughs> Adam West Batman cool if you want to make it with me follow along do the same thing just print out a paper template at home melt your wax watch the video again don't forget to warm up the parts when you're bringing it all together and that's it he's already standing I have a, a silly platform let's see if you can stand on it oh he can that's good so we can do a 360 for you guys ah look skinny guy look how it looks on the back i mean it kind of looks like the character already right i mean the shadow of it the the template as i said it's still a little warm that's okay i just wanted to show what it looks like on a 360. Well, there you go, guys. This is the the beginning. The next part. Try to keep them standing. Don't want them to fall. The next part, we're gonna start shaping things a little better. We're gonna start shaping the body, the arms, the legs, everything. Generally, 
once we have a general idea of the body we're going to start on the, on the head and we're going to have a um, and we're going to have the portrait done first this time around okay if you need to reinforce your sculpture uh, just come here with your um, torch you can use a regular alcohol torch and just lightly warm up these areas to melt and become one that way your figure won't break cool put it down let it cool off I'll come back on the next video guys let me just get my table set up for sculpting more sculpting than tracing the template Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.